The Huey ALS platform trial is one of a kind. This is the first uh, platform trial in ALS. And what's unique is that we test multiple drugs in the same trial. We can add drugs with an amendment very fast. We share the placebo groups so that more people are on the active treatments. And uh, we can drop uh, treatments that aren't working. We can uh, stop early the ones that are working. This is much better for patients. So in the Huey ALS platform trial, we have 54 centers, and we have inclusion criteria for the study. And we got a lot of feedback from patients about this before we, we made them. And we tried to be as broad as possible, but also um, narrow enough so that we get a clear answer at the end. So there's a few criteria, um, such as how long students have the illness and what their breathing status is. But each site, each one of the 54 centers, they talk to their patients and they go through the inclusion criteria and they edit their patients that way. So the platform trial is a perpetual trial. So we're starting with three drugs, and there'll be 480 participants enrolled in those first three drugs. But in a couple months, we're gonna add a fourth drug, which is another 160 uh, patients. And then we're already talking to several companies to um, launch three more drugs in, in uh, 2021. So we could be up to 800,000 patients over time. But each arm, each drug itself is 160. In the Huey ALS platform trial, we're testing uh, drugs to modify the illness, meaning that they should slow down or stop the disease. We pick the best uh, drugs that are out there uh, based on the preclinical science. Uh, our goal, though, is not to stop at slowing down the illness. We want to stop the illness, we want to reverse it, and then we want to figure out how to prevent ALS from, uh, from happening in the first place. And we can keep adapting and modifying the design of the platform trial to do all of that um, uh, in this network and with this type of approach. I think we're going to see the first results uh, next summer. Um, I'm very optimistic um, how fast these studies will enroll because we designed this platform trial with patient input and there's a lot of enthusiasm by the patients, by the physicians, we have the support of the FDA and the companies. So uh, there's a lot of interest in this, so I think we're going to enroll fast, and the faster we enroll, the sooner we're going to get the results. That's a really good question of why uh, why we haven't done this before, and I think it's a couple. There's a couple reasons. One is for this to make sense, you have to have a big pipeline of treatments, and it's only really recently that we understand enough of the biology of ALS to have a lot of targets and a lot of treatments. You know, now there's 160 plus companies developing treatments for ALS. That's amazing. You know, a couple of years ago, it's probably 10 or 15. And so it makes sense uh, to screen them in a platform trial approach rather than each drug uh, on its own. And by doing a platform type approach, we can cut the time in half to get into effective treatments. So one reason is the pipeline. The second uh, reason we're doing it now really is because of the vision and inspiration of uh, a patient of mine and a good friend, uh, Sean and Healy, and his company, AMG, and all his friends, they came together, they loved this idea, they inspired us, and they gave a major gift to the Healy Center at Master All so we could watch it. We couldn't have done it without all of them. I spent my entire career um, trying to fulfill a promise to the very first patient of ALS that I cared for. I promised her I wouldn't stop fighting and working in ALS until we find a cure. And now I finally feel like we're on the cusp of being able to fulfill that 